Welcome to today's broadcast of your Varsity Warriors basketball, brought to you by Warriors Student Media. I am Cooper Temruin, and I'm here with Maddie Spencer. The Warriors are currently 8-12 overall, with a conference record of 1-7. The Warriors are currently on a three-game losing streak, and let's hope they can break that tonight. Hayden Stone and Marco Vishenbach led the team in field goal percents of 41% and 38% in Wednesday's game versus South. Stone also led the team in offensive rebounds. This game kicks off the five-game homestand for the Warriors. The Warriors are taking on the Marengo Indians, who are 0-20 overall and 0-3 in conference, coming off a tough loss against Johnsburg last night. Marengo puts up an average of 40 points per game, and tonight they're against the Warriors, who have put up an average of 44 points per game. Defense is going to be crucial tonight for both teams. Riley Weiss is averaging 12.9 points per game for, for Marengo. Jet Leziak shoots 75% from the free throw line. Patrick Signor has made 26 three-pointers, and Weiss has made 19 so far this season. Let's look into Coach Madsen's keys for the game tonight. So I had a talk with Madsen before the game, and he said that their major key tonight is playing with heart and emotion and really showing their passion and effort and not getting in their head so much. Um, so Maddie, the Warriors had a very strong start to the season and have been faced with some challenges in the past few weeks. How can playing with heart and emotion help the Warriors tonight? Playing with the heart and emotion can, can help the Warriors come together as a team as they're a little over halfway through the season. Staying out of their own heads will help them find their shooters like Hayden and Marco. As I was talking to Manson, he gave very simple and straightforward keys to the game. He just said, let's just put the ball in the hoop. So tonight, let's just hope the Warriors do just that. Um, tonight, we have the pep band out here. We have a very full student section tonight against Marengo. And let's hope the Warriors can pull through and get a dub tonight. Madsen also talked about the Warriors uh, getting in their heads, and this can really help with like building teams since, as Maddie said, they're already over halfway through the season. So really coming together as a team to finish the season off strong is going to be pivotal tonight, trying to get ahead and keep their lead very early in the game, starting off here in the first quarter. And it looks like we are getting started with the national anthem here tonight. Let's tune in for that.
And here are the starting lineups for tonight's game. As we go into the tip-off, looks like Marengo has number 24, Grant Aubrey up, and McHenry has number 11, Hayden Stone. Ball's up. McHenry takes the ball. Zach Manis to Marco Wiesenbach. Marco back up to Hayden. Hayden finds Zach Manis. Back to Marco in the corner. Carter sights with a little bit of a struggle. Foul looks on number zero, Corey Castaneda for Marengo. That's the first foul of the night. 15 seconds into the first quarter. Caleb Jett bringing the ball in for the Warriors. He finds Marco deep at the... Goes up for the three. Swish. Great shot from Marco Vizrinov. Number 10 goes to number 20, who hits it out of bounds. McHenry ball. Caleb Jett brought it in to number 24, Marco. Marco bringing it up. Finds number three, Zach Manis. Jett. Jett drives through the paint, loses the ball. Marengo recovers it, number zero. Corey Castaneda. Nice block from Marco Vizrenok. And it's a Marengo ball. Hayden Stone kind of fell on that one, knocking it out of bounds. Number 10 for Marengo bringing it in. Number 2 back to 10. To 0, to 2. A lot of quick ball movement from Marengo. A little bounce pass to number 10. 10 to 20. Very aggressive defense tonight for McHenry. Drives through the paint. Messy bounce pass to zero. Knocked out of bounds. Marengo ball. 
Looks like right off the hands of number three, Zach Manis. Bringing in from Rango is number 10. Finds number two, goes up for three. Swish. Marco brings it up for the Warriors. Finds number 12, Caleb Jett. Carter sights at the top of the key to Zach Manis. Zach Manis goes up in the paint, just off the rim. Nice rebound, and rebound by number two, Riley Weiss. Number 20 looks for the three. Doesn't make it. <laughs> Looks like he stepped out of bounds on that one. Number 12, Caleb Jett bringing in for the Warriors. Marco running it up. Finds Carter Seitz. Back to Marco, up for three. Great shot by Marco. He is all over it tonight. Going two for two already. Number 10 brings it up. Good recovery by Z Carter Seitz, but he just barely falls out of bounds. Moringa ball. Number 10 brings it in, and number two. Back to number 10, to 20, and a great steal from Zach Manis. <laughs> Just a missed layup by number 12, Caleb Jett. Hayden Stone fighting for the rebound, gets it back to Zach Manis, Warrior Ball, tosses it up to Carter Seitz. Carter misses, but it bounces off the hands of number 10 for Marengo, Quinn Lechner. Warrior Ball. All the way to Hayden Stone at the top of the key. Zach Manis, Caleb Jett in the corner, bounce pass to Hayden in the paint, and it's good for two. Number 10 to number two, back to 10. To two, driving through. Bounces it completely out of bounds. Looks like he misread number 24, Warrior Ball. J.J. Tapia is checking in, and it's a Marengo timeout. Tonight, defense is very heavy from both teams, but the Warriors have taken the lead. It's 8-3 with 4 minutes and 55 seconds left in the first quarter. If you love everything football, be sure to watch the Warrior Weekly's Play Action Podcast. Um, with T.J. Hawes, Tyler Herkus, Tyler Houston, and Caden Bunting. Um, they are just starting to talk about the playoffs coming up, so tune in. Number 24, Marco Vishnabop bringing it up. Number 4, J.J. Tapia finds Marco up for three. Chest off the rim. Rebound to number two for Marengo. Driving up. And J.J. Tapia stands his ground and gets fouled. Warrior ball. Hayden Stone bringing it up for the Warriors. Zach Vanis bringing it up for the Warriors. Driving through the paint. Finds Marco. And that's good for two. Good steal from Marco. Looks like we got a foul. Number 10, Quinn Lechner fouled number three, Zach Manis. Zach Manis going up for two shots. 
Goes off the first one. No good. Checking in for the Warriors is 32, Adam Anwar, and number 12, Caleb Jett. Zach Mann is going out for his second shot. No good. Rebound from number 10, Quinn Lechner. To number two in the corner. No good. Looks like it was number five able to rebound that and put it up for two for Marengo. Number 24 to JJ Tapia in the corner. Good for three. That is the third three-pointer made tonight. To number 10, driving through, finds number 24. Back to 10 in the paint, complete air ball on that one. Number 12, Caleb Jett rebounds that, finds J.B. Tapia to Zach Manis in the corner, and swish. Number 10. Finds number zero, driving through, goes up for three, no good. Number 10, the attempt for the rebound, hits it right into the hands of Caleb Jett. When he passes to JJ Toppy, it hits it straight to number two from Marengo. J Caleb Jett with a foul. That's the first foul for the Warriors tonight with three minutes and one second left in the first quarter. Number 10 bringing in for Marengo. Finds two wide open to five in the paint. Goes up for the shot. Just barely good. Adam Anwar with his first foul of the night. And number five. Is going up for one shot. He goes up. And it's good. That was Michael Kirchhoff. Marco Vizhenbach bringing it up for the Warriors. Finds 22, Connor McLean. Finds Caleb Jett in the corner. Number 12, Caleb Jett to Marco. Kyle Mann is making an appearance. Kyle Mann is struggling to find someone, finds Adam Anwar. To Connor McLean in the paint, gets fouled. He gets two shots. Looks like he was fouled by number 24. He goes up first, first. No good. The Warriors are 0 for 3 on three throws tonight. And number four is coming in for Marengo, Drew Johnson. Goes up, no good. Rebounded by number 22 for Marengo. Number five brings the ball up. Finds number 22, driving through the paint. Finds number two, goes up for three. No good. Marco Vision Rock comes up with a rebound. Swiped away by number five for Marengo. Falls right in the hands of number 22. Number 22. Four stuck in the paint, finds 30. Two at the top of the key. Number five to four in the corner. Four finds a wide pass to number 22. And doesn't get it back in time, warrior ball. The Warriors are up 16 to eight with a minute and 37 seconds left in the first quarter. 
Kyle Manis up. Finds number 12, Caleb Jett in the corner. Through the paint, finds Zach Manis. Up for three. No good. 30 with the rebound. Tosses right over to Caleb Jett. And it hits off the foot of number two for Marengo, and it's Warrior Ball. Caleb Jett bringing it in. Hayden Stone goes up for the three. Just off the rim. Number five with the rebound from Marengo. Number two driving it up. Goes through the paint, hits off a shoe, and Hayden Stone with the steal. Zach Manis driving up, tries, <laughs> forgets the ball. Gets his own rebound. And it looks like number 20 fouled him. Warrior ball. That's Marengo's fifth foul tonight. Compared to the Warriors two. Zach Manis bringing in the ball. Finds JJ. Finds Marco. Good for two. Number four bringing it up for Marengo. Finds 22. To 11. Number four driving through. Finds 11 wide open. Goes up at the three. No good. Kyle Manis with the rebound. Hayden Stone driving up. Good for two. Number 11 bringing in for Marengo with 15 seconds left here in the first quarter. Ooh. Looks like Kyle Manis shoved. And the clock will be stopped at 12, minute, 12 seconds left in the first quarter. 22 bringing in from Marengo. Finds number two at the top of the key. Finds 20, goes up for the three with eight seconds left, and it's good. Five seconds left for the Warriors. And it's good. Marco Vishenbach with the buzzer beater there. Marco Vishenbach is really carrying the Warriors right now with 12 points scored only in the first quarter, while his next runner-up is number 11, Hayden Stone, with four points in this quarter. The Warriors are slowing down the ball too much, and the aggressive defense from Marengo is really trying to, it's really starting to catch up with them, as Marengo has had more seals than the Warriors have. Let's hope they can change that in the coming quarters. Be sure to tune in to my podcast, Sour. The next episode is coming out in the next few days. Um, my next guest is Miss Hillary Agnello, who is our dean here at McHenry. We're going to talk about all things about being a dean and volleyball. She is the head volleyball coach here at McHenry, so be sure to tune in. Marengo will be starting with the ball to start off the second quarter. Number 20 brings it in for Marengo to find number zero. Number five driving through the paint goes up for two, and it's good. He also gets the foul.
Carter Sites with the foul on that one. He goes up for the shot. No good. Nice rebound from number 24, Marco, Marco Visionbach. Number three, Zach Manis driving through the paint. And gets fouled. The shove for two shots. See if Zach Manis can make the first three throw for the Warriors, and he does it. And he goes up for his second. No good. Hayden Stone with the rebound finds JJ Tapia up for three. No good. Number two goes up, and it's good for two for Marengo. JJ Tapia bringing the ball up. Finds Marco Vishenbach up for three. Drained it. It's Marco's third three-pointer of the night. JJ Tapia, JJ Tapia smacks the ball away from number zero. Marco Vizemak there for the rebound. And still falls into Marengo's hands. Number two, driving through, fumbles the ball and it lands right with Hayden Stone. And Hayden gets fouled. Pretty angry about that one. Looks like he was trying to dunk the ball on that one. And it was number zero. Corey Castaneda is going up for two shots. Hayden goes up for his first. No good. Goes up for a second. And it's good. Number 10, bringing it in for Marengo. Finds number 20, back to 10. 10 to 2, back to 10, to 20. Finds number 5. Looks like Carter Sites with the foul on that one. Marengo ball. That's the fifth foul for the Warriors tonight. Carter's second personal foul. And Michael Wojcik is making an appearance here tonight. Number two. Smacked away by Marco, but he cannot recover. It goes out of bounds. Marengo ball. Number 12, Caleb Jett joining us in. Number 10 brings it in. Finds number 2 driving through the paint just off the backboard. And it's Marengo ball. Number 24, Marco Vishenbach bringing up for the Warriors. Finds Hayden Stone wide open, a little high pass there. Finds Zach Manis. Marco driving through, goes up for the shot. No good. Hayden tried with the rebound there. Falls right in the hands of number 20 for Marengo. 10 bringing it up. To number 2, driving through, goes up for the shot, right off the rim. Great rebound by Hayden Stone, but it's knocked away by number 10. And number 10 fouls. That is the ninth foul for Marengo tonight. And we have six minutes and three seconds left in the second quarter.
Hayden gets one shot. Let's see if he can do something with it. Goes up. No good. Rebound from number five for Marengo. Finds number 20, left wide open. Number two goes up, five, looks for the three. No good, right off the rim. Fighting rebound from Zach Manis. Finds Marco Vichenrock driving through, finds Michael Wojcik. Leaping catch for Hayden Stone on that one. Finishes the play, even though the whistle was blown. Looks like another foul against Marengo. Against Hayden again. He's got two shots, and we have a timeout for Marengo. Well, with the ten fouls that Marengo has put up, about eight of them have resulted in free throws having to be shot, and the Warriors have only made two of them. They're giving away very, very easy points that they could be scoring in order to increase their lead here. We're at 28-15 in the second quarter. The Warriors are keeping to a minimum of five fouls. The Warriors are doing better of keeping the ball, quick passes, keeping moving around. It was a very slow start here at the upper campus, but the Warriors have started to pick it up and let's hope they can keep it going. And we're back in action here at the upper campus with five minutes and 44 seconds left in the second quarter. We will have a performance from our dance team during halftime, so stay tuned for that. And Hayden Stone, And he's good for his first one. Goes up for the second. Beautiful. And Adam Anwar is in for the Warriors. Looks like number 30, Hunter Vazano. Bringing it in for Marengo. Out of bounds off the hands of number two for Marengo. Number 12, Caleb Jeff bringing it in for the Warriors. Marco Vision Rock. Bringing it up. Drives through the paint, goes up, and gets it for two. Marco has 18 points so far. And we're five minutes and 15 seconds left. Looks like we have a push from number 23, Michael Wojcik. That's his first foul of the night. Number 30 will be bringing it in for Marengo. Number 20 looking, finds his man, number two. Number two goes up for three, no good. And Zach Manis forgets the ball a little bit there. Slows it down, finds Marco Vision Rock up at the top of the key. Back to Zach. Zach finds number 12, Caleb Jett. Bounce pass to Michael Wojcik in the paint. Struggling to find a shot. Goes up and makes it anyway. Beautiful ball control from number 23, Michael Wojcik. Number two bringing it up for Marengo. Two, Riley Weiss, who is a fantastic free throw shooter here. He's averaging about 75%. Let's see if we can do it here. No good. Number 12, Caleb Jett with a rebound on that one. 
number 24 with the overpass. And Caleb Jack cannot stop in time. Rango ball. Number 30 bringing it in for Marengo. Find zero. Number 20 with the bobble. Number zero going up. Just barely hits off the rim. Rebound number 12. JJ Tapia bringing the ball up. Finds Marco. Marco goes up for three and drains it. And that's another timeout from Marengo. Marco looks like he's back to his old self tonight. He's already put up 21 points, and we still have 3 minutes and 50 seconds left in the second quarter. The Warriors are off to a great start tonight. It's 37 to 15. They average about 44 points a game, so at this rate, they'll break that. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. The Warriors really need this win tonight to pick up momentum to start off this five-game homestand that they have coming up to finish off the season with a couple more W's than they have right now would be awesome for this team. The Warriors are a very young team and going against this very heavy senior roster for Marengo has got to be tough. Right, Maddie? Yeah. <laughs> and we are back in action here at the Upper Campus. Looks like we have Adam Anwar, Caleb Jett, Zach Manis, JJ Tapia, and Marco Visionrock on the court for the Warriors. Zero fighting and a great steal from Zach Manis. Marco Visionbach wide open and goes up for two and drains it. Goes out of bounds and Marco runs up the stairs there a little bit. Number 30 bringing it in. Number four finds wide open 20, goes up for the three. Just barely misses that one. 30 goes up for the rebound, gets fouled. Looks like it may have been my number 32, Adam Anwar. It was indeed. Gets two shots here, goes up for his first, no good. And he goes up for a second. Makes it on that one. Kyle Manis bringing it in for the Warriors. Passed it to number 24, Marco Vizhermach, to bring it up the court. Finds number four, JJ Tapia, to Connor McLean up the top of the key. Back to Kyle, to Marco in the corner. Finds Adam Anwar looking for the shot. It's way too far away from the hoop for that one. Finds Connor McLean up at the top of the hoop to JJ. JJ driving through. Tries to find the shot, realizes that he'd immediately get stuffed, and the ball gets knocked out of bounds anyway. Warrior ball. Number five. To number three. Bounce passes to Connor McLean up in the paint. Hayden Stone looking for the shot. Finds Kyle instead. Back to Zach at the top of the key. Number 
Number 34, Carter Seitz. Zach going up for the three. Drains it. That's Zach's second three of the night. With two minutes and 16 seconds left in the second quarter. Number two for Marengo driving up. No good for two. Number five for three. Chest off the rim. And it hits off the top of the rim and then goes in the basket. But since it hit off the top of the rim, it's out of bounds. So does not count, sadly, for Marengo. Number 22, Connor McLean. Carter Seitz looking, finds Hayden. <laughs> Ball straight, knocked out of Hayden's hands. He can recover. Carter Seitz going through and good for two. Number two for Marengo, driving through, goes up with the sit down shot. Number 30 rebounds that, gets Hayden with a great block on that one. And Carter goes up and gets it for two. Looks like a foul on number three, Zach Manis. That's the Warriors' ninth shot tonight. Ninth foul tonight, my bad. Um, they're catching up with Marengo here, who is sticking at 10. With 57 seconds left here in the second quarter. And that first shot is good for number 30 for Marengo, Hunter Vaziano. And it's good for a second. Hayden bringing it in with 56 seconds left here in the second quarter. Zach Manish bringing it up. It's knocked out of bounds from number five for Marengo. Hayden Stone finding tooth and nail to get that ball. Michael Logic's going to bring it in for the Warriors. Finds Zach Manis in the paint, and it's good for two. Marengo ball with 36 seconds left in the second quarter. 30 looking. Finds number five driving through the paint. Gets fouled. That was on number 11, Hayden Stone, making a total of 10 fouls for each team here with 26 seconds left in the second quarter. Goes up for his first, no good. Adam Anwar coming in for Zach Manis. And number five for Marengo, Michael Kirchhoff going up for his second. No good. Rejected. And number five, Kyle Manis with 17 seconds left. Finds Carter Seitz to Hayden. To Michael looking for the shot with 12 seconds left. Got 10 seconds left. Carter Seitz to Kyle. Five seconds left. Michael goes up. And Adam, a foul in the last two seconds. Looks like number five from Marengo jumped on the back of Adam Anwar. <laughs> and he gets two shots. Adam goes up for his first. <laughs> no good. Right, right off the rim on that one. Adam's the only freshman on the team. Goes up for a second and rejects it again. Um, looks 
Looks like Marengo forgot that they could rebound that one. Didn't really want to try with two seconds left. And here we go for our halftime show. Stay tuned to see your McHenry dance team, and then after that, more Warrior Basketball.
Welcome back to tonight's live broadcast of the Warriors basketball game versus Marengo. Um, in the first half, the Warriors' main struggle was free throws. They are making the effort to get all of these fouls against them, and they're throwing away easy points um, to put them even further ahead in this game as they are ahead by 30 points since it is 48-18. to 18. Um, on a more positive note, Marco Vizmok is killing it tonight. He scored 24 points in the first half, and a majority of those are three-pointers. Let's hope the Warriors can pick up the pace here and keep making their free throws. And it is a lot of pressure being up at that line by herself, but missing a drastic 12 free throws in the first half is a little unbearable to watch. One of Madsen's keys to the game where he said just put the ball in the hoop is working when they're not under the pressure of doing free throws. So let's hope that that can be a quick, easy fix that was fixed in the locker room during halftime for the Warriors. Number 34, Carter Seitz. Number 3, Zach Manis. Number 12, Caleb Jett. Number 24, Marco Vishrock. And number 11, Hayden Stone. The Warriors defense are doing a great job of holding... Marengo to under 20 within the first half. Let's hope they can do the same here. Marengo ball, number two bringing it up. Number two driving through the paint, no good. Hayden starting it off with a wonderful rebound. To number 12, Caleb Jett, good for two right in the paint. to number 20 in the corner, back up to number 10 at the top of the key, back to two, two drives through, finds zero to 20, goes up for the shot, bricked. Long pass from three Zach Manis to Hayden Stone, finds it just off the rim, good rebound from Caleb Jett. A little trip and fall there, that was a hard fall, looks painful. And he's going to bring it in for the Warriors here. Number 24. Finds number 34, Carter Seitz, driving through the paint. Goes up for two, and it's good. Beautiful layup from Carter Seitz on that one. Zero for Moringa bringing it up. Finds 20 in the corner. 10 driving through the paint. Finds two at the top of the key. Find zero to 20. Moringa struggling to find a shot here. Number 10 stuck in the paint. Finds two. Two to zero. Zero back to two. Two to 20. Back to 20 up in the paint. Air ball to 20 with the rebound. Good for two. Yeah. <laughs> 
Beautiful shot by Hayden Stone. Number two bringing it up. Twenty to ten. Ten going up. Blocked by Caleb Jett. Was not a clean block. Gets fouled. Number ten. Gets two shots here. Goes up. No good for his first one. Number 10. Goes up for a second. No good. Number 34, Carter Seitz with the rebound. Marco driving through. Goes up for three. Greened it. Number two, driving through, goes through the paint, gets shoved by Zach Manis. Not happy about that call. Good first, first. Goes there for a second. And it's good. With five minutes and 34 seconds left here in the third quarter. Zach Mann is bringing it up. Carter Sites, Carter Sites. Zach Mann is just barely off the rim. Number two with the rebound, bringing it up from Marengo. Driving through, right over the basket. Number 24 attempting, attempted again, and rebounded by Carter Seitz. Zach Manis finds Marco open, goes for three, right off the rim. Number 24 for Marengo rebounds that one. Number 24 looking in the paint, finds number two at the top of the key for three. Drains that one. Zach Manis bringing it up for the Warriors, finds Caleb Jett in the corner. Caleb struggling to find his man, finds Marco. Marco to Carter. Carter driving through. Finds Caleb up for three. Greened it. Number two goes up for three, right off the rim. Great rebound from Hayden. Long pass, almost intercepted by number two, but Caleb gets it back under control and puts it back up for two. And the timeout for Marengo. And the Warriors are really capitalizing on the lacking defense from Marengo tonight. Scoring a almost season high of 62 points. Their highest this season has been 73. Let's see if they can break that tonight. We're just under halfway through the third quarter. And we're back in Ashton here at the Upper Campus.
Number 10 bringing in for Marengo. To number 2, back to 10. 10 to number 5, struggling to find his man. Finds 2. Marco playing some great defense. To 30, drives through. Finds 10 at the top of the key. The Warriors are playing very, very strong defense tonight. Marengo is struggling a lot on their possessions to find an open shot. 30 finding 2. 2 to 10. 10 struggling to find a man. Finds 5 at the top of the key. To 2. 2 to 10. 10 driving through. Goes up. Gets fouled and makes the shot. Followed by number three, Zach Manis. His third foul of the night. Goes up for his first and only shot and drains it. Marco's looking great tonight. Yes, he is. He has put up a total of 27 points so far. And now he's bringing it up the court for the Warriors. Goes up for the shot and gets fouled and an air ball on that one. Gets a shove and gets two shots. That's his fourth shot of the night. Fourth foul of the night. My bad. Goes up for his first. Perfect. He goes up for a second and drained it again. Number 30 bringing it in. Marengo trying to move the ball quick to keep the Warriors off their toes. Five goes up for the three. Air ball. Long toss to Connor McLean. Misses that layup. 30. Driving through, trying to find an open man. Tosses to 23. Wide toss to number 10. Zach Mann is fighting for the ball on that one. Gets fouled. That's his fourth foul tonight. Kyle Manis' his brother in for him. Number two bringing in for Marengo. Off the hands of Connor McLean. Smacks number five right in the face. Recovers. Number 10 going up. Misses that layup. Co recovered by Connor McLean. A little messy dribbling there. Kyle Manis bringing it up nice and easy. Two minutes and 18 seconds left here in the third quarter. Finds JJ Tapia driving through. No look pass from Marco Bischenbach. No good. Gets straight away from him. Tried to make a tricky little play there. Did not work out for the Warriors here. Thirty goes up for the three. Bricked it. Number twenty-two, Connor McLean. To four, JJ Tapia. Number five, Kyle Manis. Number twenty-four, Marco Visionrock. Finds four, JJ Tapia. Bounce pass to Adam Amar in the paint. No good. But Connor McLean with the rebound and puts it up for two. Number five to two. Two struggling to find a man, five's five. Five to 23, little wide on that shot, goes straight out of bounds, warrior ball. With a minute and 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Number four, JJ Tapia bringing it up. Number 22, Connor McLean to five. Kyle drives through, ball gets knocked out of his hands. 30 going up strong, finds 10 in the paint. 10 goes up. Great shot from number 10. JJ Tapia. No good.
Number 22, Connor McLean gets fouled. Number 30, bringing in for Marengo. Number 10 to 11, 11 to 20 at the top of the key. 23 at the free throw line, no good. Marco Vishnavak with the rebound, long pass to Adam Amor, and can't seem to catch that one. Knocks right off of his hands. And with 28 seconds left here in the third quarter, Marco Vishnavak has one less point scored than the entire Marengo team. Let's hope he can break that right now. <laughs> Great steal from number 22, Connor McLean. Goes up for the easy layup and makes it for two. Okay, 10 seconds left. Number 30 driving up. No good. Five seconds left. Connor McLean has the ball. Two seconds left. Ball's up. J.J. Tapia. Absolutely rejected by the hoop on that one. And and starting the fourth quarter, we are 68-30. McHenry with a 38-point lead. Let's see if in this quarter McHenry can break their season high of 72 points scored which they did very early on in the season. We have number two, Tyler Herkins, number 23, Michael Wojcik, number 32, Adam Anwar, number 15, Julian Mendez, and number 20, Marcus Honia. Number two, Tyler Herkins bringing it up. Michael Wojcik looks up for the shot. Goes to Adam Anwar, back to Michael. Driving through, finds Julian. Marengo ball. Evan goes up. Rejected. Adam Amor with the rebound on that one. Number 20 with a fantastic steal. Tipped off the hands of Michael Wojcik just to go out of bounds. That would have been a great interception for Michael Wojcik if he got a hold of that ball. Number 30 to 11, 11 to two, up for three, right off the rim. Tyler Herkis with the rebound, bringing it up. Finds Michael Wojcik. Looks for it, finds Julian Mendez up for three. No good. Adam Anwar with the rebound for the Warriors and gets called for a travel. Number 10. Bring it. Never mind. Number 22 bringing it up for Marengo. 22 for 10. 22 to 2. Number 20 to 22 goes up for the shot. And it's good for 2. Number two, Tyler Herkus. 
finds Marcus Honey. To Michael Wojcik out at the top of the key, looks for a shot, can't find it, finds Julian. Air ball from Julian there. Great save by Marcus on that, but straight in the hands of number two for... And that's a big foul from number 32, Adam Anwar. That's his second foul of the night. Number two gets two shots here. Goes up, and it's good. Checking in for the Warriors, we have number five, Kyle Manis. Goes up for a second, and just barely makes that one. We have four minutes and 40 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Tyler Herc is bringing it up for the Warriors. Finds Adam Anwar. Adam back to Tyler, a little wide pass there. Michael up for three, no good. Adam with the rebound and puts it up for two. Number two, bringing it up for Marengo. Number 11, finds two at the top of the key, driving through, goes up. Blocked by Adam Anwar. And that's another foul against Adam tonight. His third. <laughs> Number two misses his first shot. Checking in for the Warriors, we have number 15, Julian Mendez. And for Rango, joining us is number one, Chad DeMora. Goes up for a second, and that one's good. Marcus Honey bringing the ball in to Julian Mendez. Julian to Kyle. Kyle drives through. Finds Michael Wojcik, goes up for three, no good. Great rebound from Marcus and puts it up for two. The Warriors have been very good at that tonight and they are currently at their season high of points scored at 72. Let's hope they can keep capitalizing on that. To number five in the paint for Marengo. Ball stiffed out of his hands, gets fouled, Marengo ball. Tyler Herkness back in the game. Number 22 to 5. 5 to 15. 15 to 1, but snatched away by number 15, Julian Mendez. And he bricks it. Number 2 to 22. Up in the paint to 15. 15 goes up for the shot. No good, but gets fouled by Michael Wojcik. Number 15 goes up for his first. No good. For a second shot, number 15. Goes up. No good again. Kyle Manis with the rebound on that one. And timeout for Marengo with a minute and 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Warriors are still at their season high scored right now. Number two, Tyler Herkus. Fumbles the ball. 22, take advantage of it. Puts it up. Gets fouled. 
by number 15, Julia Mendez. That's the first of the night. And we have 50 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. No good for his first. 35 seconds left. The Warriors have 30 seconds to break their season record. And it's good. 26 seconds left. Kyle Manis brings it up. Driving through. Finds Julian. Goes up for three. No good. Great rebound for Marcus O'Neill. Fighting for the ball. Doesn't get it. Number five for Moringa with 10 seconds left. Finds number one. Six seconds left. Driving through. Goes up for the shot. And that's an air ball to end it tonight, folks. The Warriors beat Marengo 72-36. The Warriors really picked it up in the second half, especially with their free throws and their communication. Marco Vizhenov had a career high of 27 points tonight, which is which at one point was more than Marengo has scored until about halfway through the third quarter. This is the end to the Warriors' three-game losing streak this season and a great kickoff to their homestand. Thank you for joining us here at this broadcast tonight. We'll 